Today we're making some noodles with a vibrant green Asian style pesto. It's a great dinner time meal. Um, to start off with, we wanna make sure our hands are washed and clean. Um, and uh, then we're gonna prep our noodles. So we're using a uh, konjac noodle today. Uh, it's made from the konjac plant um, and it's uh, very low calorie, very low carbohydrate, works great in this dish, has great texture. Um, to prepare it, it doesn't need to be cooked. Uh, you will need to drain it though. So you just open the packet and pour it into a colander and then you wanna give it a good wash under hot water just to remove any kind of odors um, or smells so they don't get into the final dish. And, uh, and after it's been washed, you can just let it sit there and drain while you prepare the rest of your ingredients. Um, so to make our pesto, we've got a few ingredients in here. We've got some uh, scallions. We're using the white part of the scallion. Uh, we've got some lemongrass. The lemongrass, you want about a five centimeter piece. We've got some garlic, two or three cloves, finely or roughly chopped, and that can go in as well. And we've got some ginger. I like to remove the outer layer of the ginger and then that's finely chopped and put in as well. Now I have one green chili in here. Um, I cut the seeds and the white part out if you don't want it spicy. Um, and then that's roughly chopped as well. Uh, we've got a bit of lime, half of that squeezed in. Uh, then we've got some cilantro or coriander. I've just used the stems. The stems have a whole lot of flavor. And then that way we can save the, uh, the leaves for garnish. I've also got some tofu here in front of me. This is firm tofu. I've sliced it thin and then I've left it on some paper towel to dry. Um, and I've also patted the top dry so there's no excess liquid. For our uh, green pesto mix, we've got two seasonings in it. We've got some Asian fish sauce. This is adding our uh, savouriness and our uh, kind of saltiness. Uh, I don't put any salt in there, I just use this. I also put a little bit of honey in. That'll just give some sweetness as well as a bit of complexity to the dish. And then once of those have been put in and everything's been uh, blended, I've used a stick blender for this, but you can use a food processor if that's easier. The stick blender was about a minute's worth, but you just want everything to be the same consistency and, and very kind of finely chopped up, like, like a paste or, or a pesto. Um, I, I should also mention I've got some uh, peanuts that have been crushed. We'll use this for garnish. We've got our scallion greens that have been cut up. These will be for garnish as well, as well as some extra limes and our cilantro leaves. We're gonna move over to the heat. I've got a non-stick pan. I'm just gonna put that over a, a medium high heat to warm the pan up. It's really important for your tofu to be dry because if it goes in there and it's still wet, you'll get a lot of splattering and, uh, and it'll add to your cleanup later on. So once our pan is getting hot, we'll add a, a neutral oil. Um, I'm using canola. We're just gonna let that oil heat up a little bit more. Now that's nice and hot. And adding the tofu, because the oil is very hot, you want to lay it down facing away from you so you don't splatter yourself. Put the bottom in a little bit of oil while I'm playing to it down. Give the pan a little bit of a shake to make sure they're not sticking and then you kind of want to watch them closely. You're looking for the bottom to start browning and crisping. Tofu can burn. So you want to keep a fairly steady eye on it and adjust the heat if necessary. Um, I'm just going to check the bottom here. Right. I'm just very carefully flipping these over. Sometimes they can stick to each other. Now that they're flipped and one side is hot, I'm just going to sprinkle a tiny little bit of salt on top. Season, flavor um, to dishes. So now our tofu is looking pretty much done. It will keep darkening outside the pan. So verge on the side of slightly undone over then. And then I want to flip it over to the other side when adding it to the paper towel to drain or to dry because we're going to hit the other side with a bit of um, salt and pepper as well. 
And then while it's still hot, tiny bit of salt. And pepper, it doesn't need a lot because it's uh, quite thinly sliced. And then that can sit and wait for our final plating. A little bit more oil in, and then we're going back over fairly medium heat here. We don't want it to be too hot when we add the, the paste because the garlic and ginger can uh, overcook quite quickly and then it will go a little bit sour. Uh, now our oil is hot. Now we're working quite quickly at this point. So we've got a lot of things in here that cook very quickly and we do want to preserve the fresh flavor. So we see some immediate sizzling. We see some of that excess liquid uh, cooking out and it already smells amazing. So once there's not too much kind of excess liquid, then we add our noodles and we're only really cooking these until the noodles are warm and it's kind of coating the pan well. I'll grab our spatula back. I'd say that's about done. Noodles are nice and warm. We'll grab our bowl, we'll grab some tongs, and we're just going to grab a nice amount of some of that sauce. Straight into the bowl. I'm just going to grab a spoon. <laughs> and pour some of that over. The topping, we'll take a couple of our tofu pieces and that we haven't dropped on the bench, stick them in there. We'll take some of our crushed peanuts, as well as some of our scallion greens and our fresh cilantro leaves. We'll tear them up. Maybe one more piece, why not? And we serve it with a little wedge of lime there. Noodles with the Asian style pesto ready to go.